Greetings YouTube. Uh, I've just got the alternator set up for the first time. I don't know if you've seen my video about what happened when this. Some of the coils got dislodged. <coughs> Excuse me. Very annoying. But it appears that all is not lost. I've got the multimeter set up to two of the AC outputs. And uh, I don't have my rectifier yet. I did have one years ago and I thought I knew where it was, but I lost it. So that's no good. I've ordered another one, which is coming hopefully in the next few days. But if I give it some movement, and my hand isn't in the way, which it may be. can actually get it near where we want it to be and see how fast this thing can spin so I'm definitely not chucking it in the bin I'm just gonna demount the cinematographical device to show you the underneath you haven't seen this bit yet this is what I had to do these arms connected onto the bearing plate the only problem I might have is the bearing arms under there <clears throat> that you can see poking out towards the multimeter. That may get in the way of the chain, but I've got a plan for that, folks. I'm one step ahead. You see, it's got a big air gap. Okay, I I'm happy with that because I'm not a million percent certain about how the resin turned out in the mag rotors. The resin in the stator is fine, that thing is solid. That's not going anywhere. You can see the coil uh, down there, which is what I'm sure that's one of the coils that got dislodged. There's eight of them going around that are fine, and then there's four. And I realize the exact reason why is because I messed about with this. Yeah, and next time I make one, <coughs> excuse me, which I'm going to because I've got uh, nine kilos of 14. AWG wire coming, I'm going to make a 12 volt one <coughs> Excuse me, and depending on how this one comes out, I might make a 48 volt one Just because I can uh, the, the total cost for the stator is about 50 quid See that, the lower reading, I believe, is because that's the third phase, the one I've marked three. Yeah, I've marked them one, two, and three, and the one marked number three <coughs> has basically the problem because the coils got dislodged. So that seems to offer up less on the AC side, about 22 rather than 26, but there's some loss to be expected. So anyway, that's, I just wanted to show you that because I'll be taking it outside again, <clears throat> sorting a few things out and then putting it up tomorrow. We're getting a lot of wind coming soon, so it's good. But yeah, I'm glad all is not lost and it actually makes something. The stator can be adjusted on all four sides by these. Plus I thought it was very handy to be able to slide them in and out for adjusting and if you want to use different sized ones as long as the holes are down the center you know all f on all four all four ways then that's fine it'll line up perfectly so yeah next time you see it it'll be up and spinning around very fast touch wood with a dc rectifier i hope so i was down but i'm not out so keep the faith chitlins and uh speak to you soon eh?